These are term contracts, saving you up to 60% a year. And it's only available to Comcast Business Internet customers. So boost your bottom line by switching today. Comcast Business, powering possibilities. All right, y'all, we've got our NBA All-Star Reserves. They were announced yesterday. In the East, congratulations, Bam Adebayo, Jalen Brown, DeMar DeRozan, Joel Embiid, Tyrese Halliburton, Drew Holiday, and Julius Randle. And in the West, it's Paul George, Shea Gilgis Alexander, Jaron Jackson Jr., Damian Lillard, Lori Markinen, John ja Morant, and DeMontis Sabonis. Shannon, it's a great list, but there are some notable exclusions. Yes. What's your biggest problem with this? I've got two, Skip. There is nowhere in hell Jaron Jackson Jr. should have gone over Anthony Davis. I agree. Skip, and here is the thing. People are like, AD missed time. Do people <laughs> realize that Jaron Jackson Jr. has only played 12 more minutes than Anthony Davis? So, in other words, he's just missed as much time yep. as Anthony Davis. Yep. And AD is averaging 10 more points, 5 more rebounds, shooting a higher percentage from the floor. He shouldn't have gone over. Uh, Jaron Jackson Jr. should not have gone over Anthony Davis. Ain't no way in hell Paul George should have gone over De'Aaron Fox. No. De'Aaron Fox averages more points and more assists. They're winning more, if you want to say wins, and he's shooting a higher percentage. And in clutch situation, De'Aaron Fox skip is 40 of 80 in clutch this season. Mm. That's 60%. The next uh, closest qualifier is Luka at 48%. De'Aaron Fox, I ain't got no problem with all the other guards because Shea Gill just deserved to go. Ja deserved to go. But Darren Fox should have gone in front of uh, uh, Paul George. Yep. And Anthony Davis damn sure should have gone over uh, uh, Jaron Jackson Jr. The East is kind of hard. James Harden has missed too much time, Skip, in order for him to go. But in the West, De'Aaron Fox and Anthony Davis should have been on that team over Paul George and Jaron Jackson Jr. So to echo your point and your emotion about De'Aaron Fox, maybe I've watched too many Kings versus the King game, as in yeah. Kings versus LeBron and the Lakers. He, he is a Laker killer. Yeah. He, he just torments the Lakers in the clutch. It's just like, you need a bucket? He'll, he'll just get you a bucket. And he's just deadly. Mm -hmm. He can take it to the rack. He can shoot threes. He, he, he just like. If you watched him the last five games, he's been everybody killer. <laughs> he's been killing and, everybody with that left hand. I am with you on that. I, I think he's a little more valuable than Sabonis, but you can go back and forth just yeah. because of Sabonis' size. Sabonis is 19, 12, and 7. De'Aaron's 24, 4, and 6, but 24 and just, just the way he runs right. the offense, I think he's slightly more valuable. But Sabonis has changed their life because yeah. it gives them a, a post presence yeah. that they, they haven't really I had. I mean, a big skip. I mean, he can pass like his dad. And I mean, seven can. assists he, for a big? Seven assists a game. Boy, that's really good. Okay, now I go back to the East. Again, I'm a Philly fan only because I picked the Sixers to right. win it all, win the East. But – Obviously, Joel Embiid deserved to be a starter. We okay. went back and forth on that. Okay. But as much as I – and I loved him last night, Tyrese Halliburton. Is he really better? Does he really belong in this game over James Harden? Because very quietly, if, if it's possible for James Harden to be doing something quietly, James Harden has been sensational this year. Mm -hmm. at, at, he would lead – he doesn't quite qualify. He qualify. But, but he so would lead the league in, in, in assists. So now it's Halliburton, but it's 11 to 10. And James is scoring 21 and shooting 39% from three. So Halliburton's averaging 20, and he's 40% from three. So these are all sensational numbers. But it feels like Harden's getting docked because he missed 16 games, just the way Anthony missed – how many has he missed? Uh, 24 games. Right. That's why Anthony Davis isn't on this team. He missed 24 but games. But, Skip, Jaron Jackson missed as many games. I, Remember, he missed the I start of the season. He did. He's only played 12 more minutes right. than AD. Right. I, I got it. The, the point is – James Harden has turned his game completely upside yeah. down. He's turned himself into John Stockton. And all I know is their team has won 33 games and lost 17. And meanwhile, the Pacers have fallen to 24 and now 29. Right. 24 and 29. Well, Tyrese Halliburton is going to have his time and he's going to have his day, but it ain't today. And, and so you left him off? Yes, I would. I would have put James Harden on. Did you see what James posted? Like a blank, like a black screen yeah. and disrespect. Well, it is disrespect, right. so maybe it'll fuel him and motivate him because he's been a, you know, obviously a perennial. You know, I was kind of thinking that Aaron Gordon might get one of those well, spots considering, considering that the, the Mike Nuggets Malone was furious about that. Right, but Skip, I got no problem because I thought I thought uh, uh, Sabonis or Marketing yep. should have started over Zion because 
You talk about miss games, damn. If, is he going to actually play in the all Skip, is he going to miss all these games and then play in the All-Star game? I don't know when Jen can, uh, uh, can tell us more when he's going to come back. Yeah. But Skip, that's not going to be a good look. The man missed 30 games and then come play in the All-Star game. <laughs> I mean, what? I don't know. I don't ever remember so many snubs yeah. that were legitimate snubs where I, I just had no doubt. I'm with you. Like, d- do I want to see Anthony Davis in the game over – Jared Jackson Jr. Jackson? Yes. Yes. D- do I want to see about anybody right now over Paul George? Yeah, yeah. I do because I, he just hadn't been that good. And the thing is, Skip, the, the guard play. I mean, you know, I, I believe Darren Fox, but I'm not putting him in over Ja or Shea Gill or Dane. Dane? I'm not, Skip, I'm not. I'm sorry. Yeah. But I do believe he should have gone over Paul George, and it's kind of like Skip Dar- Darius Garland got left off. He did. Vanderbilt University. Yeah. Boy, he was good last night. Yes. When, when Donovan, he just took the game over. He did. He he is a little terror. Yeah. He, he so they they've got they, they they got some guys that have got a, a, a legitimate gripe. Yeah. Legitimate. Now, a legitimate gripe, but not going. But Jaron Jackson Jr. over Anthony Davis, Skip. Come on oh, now. No. And he was he was third in the fan vote. So that means the players and, the, and well, the coaches selected this. Yeah. Well, come on, coaches. Come on, coaches. Really? Really. I, I don't know what they're thinking. Well, Shannon, to answer your question about Zion, he's got more imaging on that hamstring in about a week. We should know more then, but it is healing right on schedule. So that's the good news. So he another week. The All Star game is in two weeks. Skip, how you bring him back, Skip? He not playing before the All Star game. So I guess AD is your added there. Maybe. He won't <laughs> like that. He's we will find out. He's on vacation. Well, <laughs> Mama going to have to wait. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Certainly LeBron is among the all-star starters. Yeah, he is yeah. only 63 points times. away from passing Kareem. When's he going to do it? Let's predict Saturday. in just a moment. Saturday. <laughs>